Let us listen to Revelation chapter 14, verses 1 through 5. Revelation chapter 14, verses 1 through 5. Then I look, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps, and they sing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the one hundred and forty-four thousand who have been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. These follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from humankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found. They are blameless. As was shared in an earlier video structuring the book of Revelation, that in chapters 14 onwards, we will see uh, a, actually a song of triumph, right? So um, we are now on a triumphant tune, a victory tune of how the people of God resisted the evil in the world. So here are a few points from these five Verses, the people on earth alongside the Lamb, they refused to worship the Roman Empire and they followed Jesus wherever he goes. So in chapter 13, we recall the beast, which is symbolizing the Roman Empire, and the beast set up images to worship the, the beast and the mark of the beast as in the way of society. So what we are having here is that the young Christian church, the young faith, they uh, were wrestling, trying to find their way in the world, find their identity. And they were being pressured to compromise their Christian virtue. Now, uh, the people of God, they resisted. They did not give in to the way of the world. Here we have in chapter 14, where the people, the victorious people who resisted, they were standing alongside the Lamb. In verse 1, mention is made of Zion, Mount Zion, which is an Old Testament language uh, referring to the hill uh, in Jerusalem on which the, the temple was located. So Zion is symbolic of the meeting place of the new people of God now gathered alongside Jesus. This symbol evokes the old Jerusalem and anticipates the new Jerusalem. We see a count of 144,000. The 144,000 is symbolic of the people of God. So it is, an, it is not a literal number as some persons get carried away um, in being specific about this number counting this number but it is symbolic language as is characteristic of the book of revelation the name of god the father is on the forehead of of the saints and the name of the lamb so the name of the father and the lamb's name 
indicated a belonging to the Lamb. It is identifying the people of God as belonging to the Lamb. So, uh, in contrast, the people resisted. The people resisted the beast and its identity, the mark, and instead they were being faithful. And for their faithfulness, they have the name, the name of the Father and the Lamb written on their forehead.